Well, so so far we've done Brightfield, Darkfield, done Rheinberg, uh, like we're doing now. And uh, one thing that, that all these techniques have in common is um, they're basically they're, they, they present a very flat image. Um, so um, let's see. that so if you look at like um the sides of this rotifer uh, you can see that they're kind of shaded um the same way they're, they're both white there's no indication to you of like the the shape of this thing so it's just kind of like the three-dimensional shape just kind of flat there's nothing really going on to, to indicate um size or, or anything like that to you um, and so the way, uh, in general that you get to, to doing something like that, um, uh, is basically, uh, if you recall the, when we put the ping pong ball on there and you got a big white cone of light, you want to create light that is asymmetrical. So one side of it's going to be dark and the other side's going to be light. And there are a ton of ways to do that, that all have certain drawbacks and, and, and positives. Um, we're going to do one, well, kind of two tonight, but basically the same idea for both. So I want to introduce you guys to the second Aquafina based filter that we're going to show today, which is this one. And this is actually um, two pieces of, of uh, the label. And the label has this like section on the sides where uh, different shades of blue start to overlap. And so if you kind of stack them up, then you get what's kind of like this, this brightness gradient filter from like real dark on one end to uh, clear on the other. And so that's step one. So I'm gonna go back to uh, 10X here, get focused. And this might take me a little bit to dial in, but Step one, put that filter in. And my camera kind of plays very funky with this. Uh, I swear, it actually looks a lot better than this um, in the, uh, uh, through the eyepieces, but I think it's this like teal background. But already you can see that one side of this rotifer is shaded brightly and the other side is shaded darkly. And now what I'm gonna do is intensify this. And what I'm gonna do is start working down here with the light. So this technique is really about like sculpting the light field. Um, and so I'm gonna add a post-it. So this filter, by the way, is oriented. The gradient is about 45 degrees going across. And so I'm just gonna darken up the side that's already dark. And you can already see uh, in the image how that's bringing out a whole lot of extra detail. And then I'm going to use some more filter material. And this is just neutral density film. Um, so it's just like dark film, essentially. There's nothing special about it. And I'm going to put that down and scooch it over. And now if I expose better, now you can see we have a specimen that is really well contrasted and shaded in such a way that you get a sense of like the shape of it. And we can even add more darkness and bring it up a bit to really exaggerate it. And you can play around with kind of what's going on down here. Um, so this is very much like a play with it technique, but yeah, you get pretty cool result. I call this like a tropical sunset. And so 
you know, essentially this is this is a form of uh, oblique illumination, although it's a little bit more uh, more advanced. Um, but this creates, I mean, just some really great. Here we go. This turbolaria uh, is also a good example. So again, you can see there's it's and it's in like a 45 degree uh, slice. So from the top left, it's bright, and the bottom right, it's dark, and that's what gives this thing some sense of shape. And this can even work down at 40x. Sometimes you gotta adjust it a little bit to get the background right. Pop up the exposure here. But there you go. Um, so this is just using, again, an Aquafina label, um, some dark material, and uh, yeah, that's it. And this will, you can get these really nice effects. Wow, okay, so here we go. Yeah, here's a great example of the effect that you can get. So especially these little chloroplasts and whatnot, anything that's small and bead-like just uh, appears really clear. And then you get this lovely blue background from the, that's from the Aquafina label, the blue. Let's bump this a little bit, there we go. I mean, this looks, I would say, every bit as good as, like, uh, some of the imagery that I can get on my microscope, um, my, my high-end microscope. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is kind of go to the version 2 of this filter, uh, which is very similar. Here we go. So... Uh, so again, here's here's the Aquafina version, and then uh, here's another version where I've used neutral density film uh, to do kind of the same idea, except now it's gray instead of blue. Um, so again, it's just kind of a, a gradient filter. So I'm gonna pop that in. I'm gonna pull this out. Oops. I'm gonna drop that on the floor. And then I'm gonna pop that in. Let's see if we get this way. Actually, let's go back to the Hydra because Hydra is kind of a good, it's a good subject all around for this. And of course, I've lost there. It is. Okay, there we go. So uh, right now we've just got we've just got this gradient filter in, and uh, so this is sort of like the. Uh, the result that you get uh, without the additional filtering. And I mean, so you can still see that there's like an effect. Um, it doesn't look bad at all. And certainly you could like, you could just use this filter and, um, and do some like contrast adjustment work in post to like make this look even better. Um, but we're just gonna do the same technique uh, as before. So again, what I'm doing here, I'm just taking a post-it and I'm just going in the same direction that the filter is and I'm moving it up until it really darkens up um, the shadows. And then for this one, what I'm gonna do, uh, since I really do like that blue background, is I have a blue filter here. Um, this is the same kind that comes with uh, tungsten light microscopes. It's just larger than the one that comes with this microscope. Uh, you can get these from Bully Optics as well. So I'm going to use that uh, with a piece of neutral density film on top. And again, I just put this on top of the, the post-it and I just kind of scooch it in until there's like a bit of a crescent. Covering things up. Let me go back to uh, this. 
And here, when we do it with this gray filter, we get this more of like a, a blue steel background. And, um, and so it's just a slight difference. Um, but this is like kind of a, a sought after effect. There's something about this, um, this background here, like this, this kind of grayish blue that makes these, the, the microscope images, you really feel like you're there, like looking at the, the animal. Um, so this, this is sort of a sought after, um, effect. And so this is how I do it on these microscopes. So here I, I just changed the 20 X and you can see, I'm not quite getting the same effect anymore. And that just means I need to come down here and adjust a little bit. Usually just scooch it forward a little. And so we have a little euglenid there inside of the Lorica. Um, oh, hey, look, there's a euglena as well. It's a euglena. Look at these things go. Yeah. 